The top 10 American Idol finalists are set and surprisingly or sadly, depending on your point of view, Sanjaya has made it through to another round. Stephanie Edwards was the one to go this week, which means she won't be touring when the competition is over. In Touch Weekly, Steve Gidlow has been in the audience for every single show this season and apparently has he has been awarded a medal for it. So, Steve, thank you for joining us. Um, Thanks, Catherine. Okay. Why does Sanjaya continue to survive? I mean, his singing is just, I mean, let's just listen to it. I think that says it all. You really got me now. You got me so I don't know what I'm doing. Am I missing something here or, I mean, what's you know, going on with him? Sanjaya's got a big fan base. And actually, Stephanie summed it up best herself when I talked to her on Friday. She said that you know, everybody that's there is a good singer. They're there for a reason. So, you know, he's a different singer to everybody else, but he's not bad. He's just, you know, he's just different to the others. How much does the hair have to do with it? Uh, people like that. I think it's a whole kind of like Barbie play factor thing. I know people like, you know, he likes to change it around and he, he's got great ideas. He always wants something different every week. So he's kind of interesting to watch. People want him around to see what he's going to do next. I mean, we saw that girl who looked about eight crying in the audience. Is that his <laughs> fan base? Ashley, yeah, uh, she was just a huge fan. She was hysterical about him. She just loved him so much. And, you know, it was a total first for Ivor because she got to go up on stage and uh, actually meet everybody. And, you know, no one's ever done that before, so it was a really cool moment for her. Okay, so let's talk about Ivor. Stephanie. Did she go before her time? I think she did. I think Stephanie had a lot more to show us. Um, she just, I don't know, something was missing with her this week. She just didn't quite have her full game plan on. Um, she did a ballad and people are used to her doing up-tempo songs. Um, they know, it kind of worked against her, unfortunately. We've got a time for one last question, or two at least. Everyone says it's such a big deal to get into the top 12, but really, you got to make the top 10, right, to, to cash in on this. You do, because, you know, these kids generally like to hang out together, and getting in the top 10 guarantees a place on the tour. It's great exposure, too, and also it's, it's great practice, because none of these kids have had any touring experience. So for them, it's a, you know, it's a big deal. They get to, like, on-the-job training under that idol brand, I and mean, it's great. So who's the one to watch now? Well, everyone's saying Melinda's the one to watch. For me, it's Jordan. I think that girl is sensational. She blew the roof off the place with uh, I Who Have Nothing the other day. It was just brilliant. And I really think that she's one to keep an eye out for, definitely. Any surprises ahead next week? Oh, it's idle. It's always surprising. You know, <laughs> we get bottom two like we did last week. Who knows? This could be all, you know, it, yeah, it's always surprising. That's all I can say. And uh, how long does Sanjaya survive in that hair? <laughs> you know, it's until he cuts his hair. It could be a whole Samson factor. Once he, sh he actually told me that he'd like to shave his head at some point. So once that hair goes, he might go too. You never know. You never know. Steve Gidlow, thanks a lot. Thank As you. As we leave you today.